This video is going to be concavity examples part one. So in this example, it says, determine the open intervals on which the graph of F is concave upward or concave downward and determine the points of inflection. So here's my function. In order for me to do this, I would have to know the domain of my function and the domain of any polynomial is going to be from negative infinity to infinity, which means that my number line is going to go across the whole real number line from negative infinity to infinity. Then now I need to find my um, my critical numbers for the second derivative. So I'm first going to find the first derivative which is 3x squared minus 3 times 2x plus 9 times 1 or 3x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then I need to find my second derivative which would be 3 times 2x minus 6 times 1 plus 0 or 6x minus 6. So this um, second derivative will not be undefined anywhere. So I don't need to worry about where f double prime is undefined. However, I do still need to consider where f double prime of x equals 0. So when does 6x minus 6 equal to 0? Well, I can add 6 to both sides and then I can divide both sides by 6. So I get 1. This is the only critical number I found in the whole real number line. So now I'm going to test for concavity. So I'm going to plug in a number to the left of 1, like 0, and plug it into the second derivative. When I plug in 0 into the second derivative, I end up with a negative 6. Again, I'm not concerned with the number, just the sign. Then if I plug in a number to the right of 1, um, let's plug in 2 into the second derivative. So here I would get 12 minus 6, which is a positive 6. So here my concave is downward, and here my concave is upward. Since the concavity did change around 1, that means that this thing here is an inflection point. So if I summarize my information, I have concave down on the interval negative infinity to 1, concave up on the interval from 1 to infinity, and I have an inflection point at the point 1 comma, and I'm not sure what the y value is of that point. We will have to plug in 1 into our original equation in order to find out that y value. So 1 cubed is 1, minus 3 times 1 squared is minus 3, and then plus 9 times 1 is 9. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2, plus 9 is 7. And so this is the answer for this problem.